Hi everyone, today I was just browsing the internet as usual and I was looking for uh, the frequency range that the human uh, can hear and should be, as it say on this website, from 8 Hz all the way up to 22 kilohertz, okay? And, <laughs> okay, until here I was uh, quite depressed because actually I cannot hear the fifth uh, the 15 kilohertz, you know. But if you continue reading here, it says that it's fairly common for people who are over 25 years of age to not be able to hear about 15 kilohertz. So that's great because I'm over 25 years. You know, I'm like I'm still missing that thousand uh, hertz, but it's fine, you know. It's normal. <laughs> anyway. And there are uh, so many websites like this one where you can just hear uh, the different uh, uh, frequencies. Okay, this is just a sinusoidal wave. I'll just play one. Let's play the 14. I can just slightly hear just a little bit. And I can definitely hear this one. All right. So if you cannot hear this one, we are on the same boat or if you just can just uh, hear just something but nothing very clear we are on the same boat so don't worry well actually I have to say that in my mid teenager until uh, some years ago I just destroyed my ears with like extreme metal hardcore extreme electronic music black or terror core whatever so that's maybe the problem you know in my case anyway FFMPG, it has many, many, many tools and uh, stuff hidden uh, in the documentation and everything. And one of these are actually the filters. And it has actually the same sinusoidal wave that you can hear in these uh, short uh, audio clips. All right. So it's great if you want to do a hearing test or if you just need to reproduce a sinusoidal wave by setting the, the the frequency amount there is this great filter which you can find documentation then libav filter then ffmpg filters and then you scroll down till audio sources okay and then cine sign whatever so we can go in our terminal and we are going to use FF Play. Okay. I already talked about it in another video, and uh, basically, it's, it is a tool that comes with FFmpeg that lets you uh, preview all the video or audio uh, modification that you want to apply to a, to a file. So, we need the filter, which is LIVFI, okay, and then our sinusoidal wave, and I'm going to set this one to 10,000. And as you can hear, it works it's just the same. All right, so you need to press quit, okay, or just close in here if you want to exit, and then you can change here. The, the sound okay just by changing the frequency that was 10,000 let's go let's go thousand see the difference as you can see here it has also different height in the in this window if I go up for example to hundred thousand will be almost uh, slightly above the yeah actually I can hear this so that's not mm. Okay, let's set to 20. Okay, that's 20,000. Probably there is like a, yeah, probably there is a, the 22,000 range. Yeah, and everything else will, will just sub subtract at zero. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. This is the tool. And if you want to do a short, uh, quick hearing test, you don't need to open a website or this and that or go and searching for an audio clip here or there. You can just 
use FFmpeg by using FFplay, then a filter, which is the L-A-V-F-I, Lavafi, and then the sinusoidal wave set to whatever frequency you want. Let's go 5000. And that's it. You can also press M to mute and repress it to unmute. And that's it. There it is, your hearing test. So if you want to, to test the, the 50,000 range, I'm not hearing any sound right now. So test it and let me know if you can hear them. My girlfriend can hear that. So it's really, it's, uh, I'm getting old. That's it. I should have at least uh, to all that loud music uh, in the past. All right, that's it. Hope it was helpful and uh, happy testing. Bye-bye.